everybody, welcome back to In the Gutter. We got a bigger haul this week because it's a twofer. Last week my LCS did not receive their Marvel comics, so I got two batches of Marvel this week. So it's a blend of last week where I got Neil Gaiman's Anansi Boys. Allegedly going to be a show on Amazon Prime. We'll see because uh, Neil Gaiman's not everybody's favorite these days. Uh, Mark Bernardin, Shaw Martinborough, and others with uh, David Mack cover. Very cool. Ryan Hussein's Rifters. Number six came out last week. I picked that up. And then continuing with these uh, EC Cruel Universe Science number four. Uh, a cool creature cover on that one. Uh, Scott Snyder's Duck and Cover number three came out. Things are getting wild in this issue. It's a nice, big, thick comic book, too. And on to a match of this week and what might have been last week's comics. We have What If Minnie Became Captain Marvel number one. And then I got the Peach Momoko variant of the same book, as well as a Scotty Young variant. Make sure you can see that one. Super cool. Love my little Disney Marvel mashups. Uh, an homage cover here to uh, Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number seven after Sienkiewicz. And then we got Phases of the Moon Knight number four. I feel like this one was a mistake uh, in my pull box, but I read it anyway. Number four came out. Captain America teams up with Thor and Spider-Man in number 15. Straczynski and Saiz, I think it's pronounced, writing an artwork. A very cool cover, Avengers Assemble, number three. This is in Hugh Glee with a Wasp and She-Hulk matchup. Greg Weissman's Spectacular Spider-Man, number nine, came out. Uh, uh, this is a Genolet, Genolet, Genolet artwork. Um, been very cool. Daredevil still dealing with hell. John Romita Jr. cover on number 15 here. <clears throat> it's a fun Kingpin story. And part of the 12 part Batman and Robin year one. Uh, Mark Waite's killing it. This is issue number two. Uh, very fun if you've enjoyed these uh, year one stories for the DC characters. Speaking of Mark Waite, we wrap up the Eclipso story in Batman Superman World Finest number 33. Uh, Dan Moore cover, but Gutierrez interior artwork. Really strong artwork in this one. Uh, new writing with uh, Kelly and McGinnis on this Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, this, I believe, is a crossover for the eight deaths of Spider-Man. I have not picked up all the crossover parts. Uh, another one of those snazzy Disney mashup covers. This is Avengers Disassembled number 500. Uh, what if Mickey and Friends were Earth's Mightiest Heroes? This is uh, actually an alternative cover for uh, Amazing Spider-Man 61. <laughs> And I couldn't hold out, even though I missed the first printing, the second printing, probably the 12th printing, but uh, this noir edition of Absolute Batman came out. It's really cool. The interior artwork looks like the original art kind of pasted up, but the word balloons being white and the artwork being uh, more of a, uh, a like photographed original art comic book ink pages. It's really cool. Scott Snyder, of course. Um, yeah, this version is nice if you really want to get a, a look at the detailed line work and things like that. And to read it, I picked up number two. So I'm following along. And then Tom Hardy's concept with a Scott Snyder and Frank uh, Thierry script. New science fiction story from Dark Girls called Arcbound. This is issue number one. And I believe Ryan Smallman was the artist. Writers and Tom Hardy's concept. Uh, another kind of hard R sci-fi story. Uh, from the Ghost Machine universe, Family Odysseys, Peter J. Tomasi's Rocket Fellers with Francis Manipool artwork. It's kind of a family time travel sci-fi story. Like all of the Ghost Machine books, very, very high quality writing, artwork, and construction of the individual books. Speaking of which, Geiger number eight, Jeff Johns and Paul Pelletier, and then uh, one of the uh, variant covers, and one more. Lots of fun stuff coming. This is my favorite of the Ghost Machine uh, stories. Rick Exodus probably being the second, but they're all pretty strong, and uh, there's a lot of thought and love put into the creation of these comics. Okay, that's going to wrap up this week. Um, we'll have another haul next week, as long as all the Marvel books come in. Until then, keep your mind in the gutter.